What is going on, my good people? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, I am going to work on a much needed modification on the CBR. Yeah, yeah. Cars, bikes, whatever it is, get out and enjoy it. Um, you've seen in my first video, my first Friday video, that was one of my complaints. Gas cap, stock gas cap that comes on the bike. It's not keyless. We're gonna go ahead and make the swap for a quick release gas cap. But before I do that, uh, there was a modification that I made on the bike and I failed to record it because I got too excited and I was ready to go ride. Uh, but I just had to do it before anything else. That is changing the quick shifter to GP shift. Yeah, if you're not familiar with using GP Shift, it is amazing. It changes the whole feel and the whole ride of the bike. Uh, I'm even shocked that all bikes don't come standard with GP Shift, but that's just my opinion. Uh, ever since I started using it, I've gotten accustomed to it and I've never looked back. And I never play to purchase another bike that doesn't have it. <laughs> Aside for the H2. But anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, so what I did is uh, on the uh, CBR, they already have it available as a standard mod. Um, but the only issue is I had to tap in the bolt, the threading for the bolt in order for it to be converted to GP shift. So originally it would be mounted at this point here which is already threaded and they left a hole here for, for you, you to thread and go ahead and mount the bolt. So once you move that shift rod over to the back, now you are able to use the GP shift option. All right, so as I mentioned before, uh, the bike comes with this keyless fob to start the bike, but in order for you to access your gas tank, you have to pop the key out. Which doesn't really make sense to have a key, keyless fob when I gotta take the key out to open up the gas tank. So I am assuming that it's designed this way uh, because maybe Honda figured that the customer will opt for uh, aftermarket gas cap, quick release gas, gas cap. So um, I was able to find one on eBay specifically for this bike. Um, this is a MC Motor Parts brand. Uh, really nice quality from what I can see. Uh, it has this halo look. To it real nice stuff you can change the color of the push cap uh, to whatever color you want I think I think they have uh, blue red yellow green so there's a variety of colors that you can choose from and the installation looks pretty simple from what I can see so let me go ahead and get that going and see how the finished product looks all right, so it looks like the brand of the cap is a B.O.B. Moto. Looks pretty nice, very nice finishing. We'll need a three millimeter Allen key to unscrew the factory cap and the, the key. So let's get that going.
the cap will not come off even if you have the screws out you have to use the key to access the fuel cap and just like that you have your fuel cap removed so you gotta figure out how to get this key out now grab your quick release gas cap there's only one way that it can go because it has two bolts on the bottom and one on the top and you can see here it's the same setup here you have one two on the bottom and the one on the top so you're gonna have to go ahead and just drop it in that looks better already okay after you have that in then you take a little bit of medium grade Loctite on your screws and then you're going to drop those in place too. And that is it, you guys. What do you think? Yeah, this should have been standard on all CBRs. And it has a CBR Fireblade logo on there. It, has, it tells you where to lock it, where to open. So to open it, you're gonna push down, push down and then twist. Boom. It's that simple. And you see it has this uh, rod on the inside and it can only fit one way. So to put it back on, be sure it's in the right position, push the halo down. Now it's locked in and we're good to go.